I don't really have a studio you can come visit and see work on the wall. I have a bunch of parts, but they're also, they're kind of mingled in with, with my crap. Is this art or is this my bow hunting supplies? Sometimes they cross. The van and the beer bong tree all kind of live in those kind of elements where they can't be anywhere but here. They're very, it's very ephemeral. It's like, it's just about living and it's about enjoying it and being here with the object and the space. And it's not something that's gonna get shipped out on Tuesday and go to an art fair in the city. And I think it's important for me to keep some of that kind of energy for myself and have this fun life and fun enjoyment of objects and space and let myself do that kind of stuff without it all being serious. I worked on a fishing boat that was salvaging logs out of the sound when I started working on doing that when I was 11. My parents were bookbinders, so I studied bookbinding through grade school, through junior high, then high school is what I did as work. See, then I left school, dropped out of college to go work on a ranch in Montana. The thought in my mind was to kind of get away from this thinking about art too much and just wanting to get close to making it and learning materials before I could think about what I was going to make. That adventure to Montana led me to New Orleans where I started blowing glass and glass right away really picked my interest as being something that would take a really long time. It's so immediate. You know, if there's a mistake, there's a lot of times not a fix. You can't really go back and re-weld the glass. It's just, you know, it either works or you break it and it doesn't work, or you fold it up and it doesn't work. At times I wish that I had just decided to just be an artist assistant and not have an art practice. <laughs> because there's times when I'm like, I don't want to, to talk about myself. I don't want to share some of this stuff. And I realize as an artist, that's the choice I've made. Thank you.